part two of our look at Kenneth Murray, inside linebacker out of Oklahoma. In this video, we look uh, at both Baylor matchups from the 2019 season, and uh, he was used very differently um, from one game to the next. We get into a little bit uh, about how he is keying uh, the Baylor offense, how, what, what keys he's reading um, in the first matchup versus the second matchup. All of the music that you hear underneath my voice uh, is original music. These are original compositions. If you wish to support the channel, uh, you can go to the description box. That will take you uh, following the link to a place where you might download the music or just give it a listen, and I appreciate it. Thanks very much. One of the things I'm seeing on tape with uh, Kenneth Murray is that he's keying the uh, back. And during this game, this is the regular season Baylor game, um, for the first part of it at least, um, not only is he keying the back as opposed to the offensive line keys, he's really keying both the back and the quarterback uh, as a quarterback spy. So a lot of stuff he's got to keep attention to. You can see he has no idea uh, about <laughs> these offensive linemen, linemen coming to get him. Um, the way he might if he were keying the offensive line. You can see he's just waiting on this block. Does manage to get off of it, but really he needs to attack uh, the right shoulder in this instance. But but he's waiting. He's waiting. Fifty five gets into him instead of the other way around. The reason he's waiting again is he's just late uh, in recognition because of, of how he's keying the play. Again, he's the mic backer here, they, and they have him doing this, this uh, two-way read of the running back and the quarterback, uh, almost as a quarterback spy. And they did change that in the second meeting. Uh, and I think he played a lot better in the second meeting. You can see his confusion. This is Kenneth here. Uh, uh, Oregon, or excuse me, Baylor, a lot of times is going to, uh, with this quarterback, he raises up the ball and they run a QB draw, QB draw or a QB follow uh, right behind the back. You can see instead of kind of taking on this role of just uh, covering the back out of the backfield here, watch him, watch him trying to watch, watch, watch the quarterback in case the quarterback pulls the ball uh, down and runs. Oklahoma sends a uh, uh, nickel blitz here, and I have to believe the back uh, in the flat is Kenneth, and he blows it here. Um, so long as that's the right call with this nickel coming. But you can see how, how having to read uh, the backfield entirely, that is the QB um, as a QB spy and the back out of the backfield would confuse you a little bit. It's also really unsuspecting of any kind of uh, uh, releasing lineman toward him because he's not keying the line. And I, again, this turns into a big game. Let's watch that. We're going to look at two uh, eerily similar plays, both at, both uh, inside the five-yard line. Uh, and in both instances, he has an opportunity, opportunity to make a play in the hole one-on-one -on -one with the ball carrier, in this case, the quarterback. You can see he takes a poor angle, and he overruns that gap. Um, these defensive backs do, a, do a, their job. This guy gets uh, contained. The other guy gets in D-gap, uh, and there's... Um, Kenny one on one in the back in the uh, hole, and really not a tackles makes an attempt to tackle high, shoulder him. Uh, I can't see him getting blocked there. It just to my eye, it looks like he just whiffs, overruns overruns that gap, and whiffs. This is from the five again. They pull the right uh, Baylor pulls the right guard. Again they block down. Again he shuffles. Again, the quarterback keeps. This time he follows the back and the pulling guard. Uh, once again, uh, the defensive backs on the outside do a good job and contain. And again, he's one-on-one -on -one in the hole, and again, he overruns that gap. I don't know if he's trying to hedge. That's an even worse attempt at that tackle from the five. And I don't know if he can't find the football here or if he's trying to hedge his bets in case the, the, the runner bounces. I don't know, if you watch his eyes, you see he's kind of leaning outside, even there. You see how he's going away from the hole there? It's too late. 
yet. This play call really confuses me and again it's clear that he's not keying anything but the backfield. In this case the back, he takes the uh, back uh, in man and you can see the linemen as they release are even confused by this. The middle linebacker is taking himself out of the play. He does, he's not aware of them um, and they're looking for somebody to block. Yeah, if the, if the backer's out of the play, that's easy pickings. It's like 20, 24, 25 yard pickup there. Uh, it's confusing. He's coming over uh, in man coverage on the back, and I don't know if they, they just don't coach him to read anything up front. I don't know. But you've got defenders to this side that could come, uh, could cover in zone on this back, or somebody could take him to the flat. He doesn't need to chase that. This is the second game, the uh, versus Baylor. It's about three weeks later, I think. And this is the, these are the plays that that where that sort of intuition and that supreme athleticism marry. You know, where you like just whew, knocks you out. You know, the potential. You see him kind of keep his feet off of that cut, and then once that back turns away, man, he is in. Or excuse me, the quarterback turns away to exit the pocket. He is in chase mode. That dude, that guy is not going to escape him. I uh, love that. Just a violent, physical, fast finish there. And, uh, and a good read, good decision, good job getting outside and, and then uh, pursuing the quarterback. We'll see that there's a much different plan for how uh, Oklahoma is going to use Kenneth and play the backfield in general. Uh, once they read run, you'll see the uh, defensive backs crashing the edge. Kenneth is not worried at all about um, covering the back out of the backfield. They're, they're letting him be an athlete here, and he's coming downhill, uh, shooting gaps, finding the ball carrier. Does a good job slipping blocks there and, and getting in between those uh, tackle and guard there. It's very possible that they, they switched his keys for this game, and he's not concerned, again, with what's going on with the running back. You see the running back release. He reads run here. I think he's reading these blocks up front. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> you see him slip right between the pull and uh, the tackle. Boy, that's nice. Watch that again. We see again, he's not at all concerned about this back to the flat. Oklahoma's content. He's gonna get, they're going to give him that, that pass and rally to the football, and they're going to let Kenneth be a linebacker, man. Watch, watch him in zone here, eyes to the quarterback, uh, doing a nice job dro dropping under this uh, curl or hitch here. And watch him, watch him turn and run as soon as he sees the quarterback's shoulders go to the left. I think that's a great job in zone coverage. And a good job rallying to the football. Again, we see him do a really nice job in zone coverage, not worried about what's going to happen with the running back, <clears throat> whether he's staying in, whether he'll leak out. He's going to rally to the ball if he does. Uh, but he keep, does a good job keeping eyes on the quarterback, dropping into zone coverage, being aware of the routes behind him. And this dig that goes behind him, he goes up and gets this football. Reads the quarterback, this guy's open. Uh, if Kenneth's not doing a nice job of drifting there and making a play on the football. This is great play recognition. Uh, he gets downhill so fast. This tackle is going to try to go out and get him, and uh, he has no shot. Just electric fast, beats that block, gets a hit on the quarterback, uh, and rushes the throw. Watch this. Watch how quickly he reads this, gets downhill, how athletic he is to get outside of this back, outside of the quarterback. Doesn't allow himself to be cut there and, and knocks the quarterback around a little bit. Once again, we see him drop here. This is Kenneth. Doesn't care that the back doesn't care that the back staying in the block. But watch how fast he gets after this quarterback. What a nice job he does reading the quarterback, escaping the pocket. You can see how quickly he gets to the ball carrier to force him out of bounds. 
Again, in the second matchup, they are not saddling him with having to spy the quarterback or even cover the running back. They're, they're sort of trusting him to read that from his drops. And if he has to go and get the quarterback or if he has to come down and hit the, the running back out of the backfield, he'll do that.